actions, not words, are needed if these things are to continue at all. Hello. Back in 2023, with the country in lockdown and online quizzing blossoming, we created All Things Quiz. For me, it was primarily a creative outlet, a lockdown sanity project, if you will. We had common cause with many of the other emerging quiz organisations. We did quizzes like the 433 Challenge and the Quiz Omnium, we launched Quiz Academy, and we reported on the news from the world of quiz. Unwittingly, that last decision is the reason why I'm doing this video. You remember that I said the channel was set up as a creative outlet? Well, in the last year, the scope for creativity largely disappeared. 2023 passed without a series of Quiz Omnium and many planned videos, including more Quiz Academy videos, remain unmade. I've got so many ideas waiting to be turned into videos and I just don't have the time to do them. If I'm ever to make those videos, something has to change. We're two people giving up our free time originally to make the sort of content we would like to see, but increasingly for the benefit of everyone except ourselves. Now I'm not seeking sympathy, this was a trap we unwittingly set for ourselves at the outset when we decided to cover quiz news. As online quizzing grew and face-to-face -face quizzing returned, so our coverage of it expanded. With little external support from organisations or quizzers, the work fell onto us. The perception is we should know everything that's going on and that's just not possible for two people doing this on a voluntary basis. Now some might have little sympathy because they think we're doing very well from it all financially. They see what YouTubers earn and they think we must be rolling in it. But in fact, we're losing money on running All Things Quiz, even with the support of our wonderful Patreons. Everyone invests in their hobbies and I didn't expect YouTubing to be any different. But over time, the fun stuff has diminished so much that we are mostly subsidising with time and money the promotion and celebration of other people's work. It has become like a job and we do things because we feel obliged to and because we're worried about letting people down. The problem is I already have a job. I don't need two jobs. I need that creative outlet back more than ever. I've come to that realisation towards the end of Series 3 of Quizzy Monday in the spring of last year, but it was only when I saw Tom Scott announce his departure from his YouTube channel recently that everything crystallised in my mind, and since then I've seen a lot of YouTubers announcing they're leaving YouTube. So this right now is an inflection point. A while back I did a video about mental health and quizzing. Well, I need to take my own advice. I need to get back to doing the things that give me joy. And that means stopping some of what I do for All Things Quiz. There were 41 Quizzy Monday live streams in 2023. That's more than double the number of original standalone videos that were produced by us last year. If I have to hunt around for guests, prep the guests, prepare slides and images, watch 90 minutes of quiz shows each week and then host Quizzy Monday, that comes out at around four working weeks of time a year that I could spend on other things. The fun part of that is presenting the show, but the quizzer of the week prep and all the other prep means I'm rarely at my best in front of the camera nowadays. I'm rarely as fresh and as full of interesting new questions as I used to be, because I'm simply getting through the show each time. If I can't devote my time on a Sunday to quizzer of the week preparation, then Mondays from when I finish work at about 5.30 and non-stop until at least 10.30 in the evening. For 80% of the Mondays of the year to be like that is just too much. Quizzer and Team of the Week needs people to step forward and take it on, and it can't just be one person doing it, or the same problem will recur. A group of people searching out for nominees in all corners of the quiz world and pooling them weekly, preparing the vote, producing the primo slides. That's not an onerous task if the work is split amongst many, but if nothing changes, Quizzer and Team of the Week will stop at the end of the current series of Quizzy Monday. Quizzy Monday needs more people involved in the planning, finding guests, preparing content, and hosting. It needs new voices in front of the camera and new ideas behind it. Lewis has shown that it can be done in front of the camera. I'm sure there are others who could host. We basically need a production team who can keep it fresh and improve it, generate ideas, and it's not all on me. So if nothing changes, this will be the last series of Quizzy Monday. There was a time when the prospect of stopping these things would have been unpalatable, horrendous. Having built things up to abandon them would hurt for sure. But for my own well-being, things have to change. It feels selfish to say it, but either more people get involved with All Things Quiz or All Things Quiz will do less. People telling me how much these things are valued will not solve the problem I face. Nice as it is to hear these things. Actions, not words, are needed if these things are to continue at all. 
and I need to get the joy of making videos back in my life. I think rebalancing my contribution to All Things Quiz will result in much better content. So, this is the moment. This is the moment where people say, yes, we value these things, yes, they add something to our quiz experience, and yes, we will get involved. Or, it's the point at which I just look back on the last three years and think, we did an okay job, and now I'm going to focus on the things that really interest me. So here are the details of how you can get involved if you want to, and if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. But the clock is now ticking, and uh, I am going to be stepping away from these things no matter what. Thank you for your time. hope you didn't find this too self-indulgent. Um, look forward to seeing you uh, on the remaining uh, live streams that we do, and hope you enjoy the videos that we're going to be producing in 2024.